It's me, Ghetto Mama, and I want to do a breakfast lunch muck bomb for you. I got um, food from the other day that I made. This is ancha burrito casserole, if you're wondering what it is. It's frozen burritos. It's a chili, the green chili and beef and bean burrito, and it has a can of enchilada sauce, the green kind, the verde sauce on it, and I put extra cheese on the top. And, um, believe it or not, we crunched up some Doritos and put on the top and some extra taco seasoning to make it, like, really pretty. And over here is cucumber salad. Whoops. So it's dropping off the fork. Nothing new. I'll probably make you guys insane because I don't have my phone going wide. The reason why I do this is because I have a Stylus 2 phone and it's really large and it's hard to fit in my hand. And when I make it go wide, I cover up the microphone or I'm not looking at the right place on it. So that's why I did it. Anyway, um, we have some challenges coming up. Well, it's good. We're, we already, I already have them up, but it's like the one for the fast food challenge. That was kind of fun. We uh, got two chicken sandwiches off of two different dollar menus establishments. And we got um, the chicken McNuggets, or chicken nuggets. And we did a um, taste test to see who has the better ones. I mean, it's a dollar menu. And I'm not trying to sound petty, but if you're going to spend a dollar, it better taste at least okay, right? <laughs> So, the next one I'm going to put up is going to be a um, ghetto beer one. We bought four cans of ghetto beer. The reason why we caught ghetto beer because it's the cheapest beer that you can get in the convenience stores around here. And my daughter, my daughter-in-law, and my daughter's boyfriend are taste testing them. Oh, excuse me. My daughter-in-law didn't do it. It was my daughter and my my um daughter's boyfriend. They're taste tested. My daughter-in-law was in on the chicken ghetto chicken menu thing. But anyhow, <clears throat> we had a lot of fun and a lot of laughs doing it and I'm going around to the fast food places to buy these things. And, uh, I want to make my muck, muck Bomb channel different than everybody else's. Because I want to put comedy into it and comedy plus seriousness and stuff. I would just want to keep it for you guys to enjoy. And I'm going to tell you I'm not going to get into politics and I'm not going to get into like religion or anything like that because what a how I think about stuff like that is just my business, nobody else's business. And how you think about it is your business, right? So we won't have any of that, but we will have like situations about living in a poor neighborhood, uh, being on a very limited income. So a lot of our um, my content is going to be evolving around that. And because uh, I don't think a lot of people can re really relate to these high flute like Kardashians, and I'm just trying to keep it real on my channel. Another thing I'm gonna do is uh, after you toke up, meaning weed, we're gonna have a munchy muck bomb. Was well, good for the munchies after you get done partying. That might be fun and interesting. Might make you laugh too. I'm gonna get somebody to roll, teach you guys how to roll a joint, which you probably already do. I don't smoke. I don't drink. I don't drink beer. I don't drink alcohol. I don't even smoke a cigarette.
But le weed is here. Is legal. I might start partaking in token a little bit, but last time I toked, I got really, really paranoid, so it might not be a good idea for me. But anyhow, um, we're going to have a, after, after you smoke up muck bomb, we're going to have a whole bunch of munchies and talk and laugh, and hopefully you'll find it amusing. Not saying that people just do this in the ghetto. People do it everywhere. Where weed is legal. Anyhow, um, let's see what else. Oh, and we're going to do a Kool-Aid challenge. Because, you know, stereotypical. You drink lots of Kool-Aid in the ghetto. So we're going to do a Kool-Aid challenge. We're going to find out... What's oh, the best flavor of Kool-Aid or brand or whatever? That would be fun. I'm down for that. How about you? And then I just keep my more boring muck bombs where I'm stuffing my fat face in front of my cell phone and talking to you. Okay? None of my videos are monetized, so I'm not doing this for money. I'm doing this because I'm kind of bored and I want to entertain you guys and I want to make friends. Hopefully I'm making friends out here, no enemies. And if I happen to get a troll or two in my comments, I don't care. Because trolls bring more views. So that's okay. I don't care. Plus I'll never meet any of these people anyway, probably. I'm out here in Nevada. But I'll tell you, the Muck Bomb ladies that already have channels established, they're really nice. I've talked to a few of them, talked to one lady on the phone, and she gave me advice for a problem, and it really helped. I appreciate you. So if you're watching, you know who you are, and it really did help me, your advice. And, uh, yeah. So, I have a Facebook, cha a Facebook page, too. Or it's Leslie Singh. So if you want to be friends with me on Facebook, you're welcome. I'm on Twitter as well. And I also have another channel called Leslie Singh on here. That's where I talk about all kinds of different things. I can't believe how good this is. This is leftovers. I'm trying to do portion control and watch be on a diet because I'm just too damn fat. I'd like to have another one of these though. Because I'm still hungry and I still got food left. A little tiny bit. I hope everybody today has some food on your plate or a sandwich or something. Because a lot of times I make these muck bombs and I'm thinking, what about the people who are like homeless or something? And they go to the library to get in just to get out of the elements. And then they watch muck bombs watching everybody eat. That makes me feel so guilty. In fact, I almost like didn't want to do my channel because I was worried about people not having nothing to eat. It's really sad. I used to um, help the Food Bank of Northern Nevada to get food. I have a thing called Wolf Entertainment where I would book bands at local establishments to try to raise money uh, for the food bank. We'd do it. One of the projects we, we would do this every year, like kick off in um, November 1st, you know, first week of November for holiday food. But I haven't been doing it anymore because all of my um, local places here, like the local dive bars and stuff, they've either closed down or, I don't know, it's just nobody comes in there and you can't raise any money and then the bands need money. Because, you know, 
if you're not on the the entertainment side, you don't realize what the BS is that the musicians go through. They practice and practice and practice and they haul their equipment and everything. My sons have a band called Truckee River Band, although it's kind of dormant right now because of the fact that they can't make any money. All right, each one of my sons that are in it, they're um, working regular jobs and too tired on the weekends trying to keep up. You know what I mean? Well, I got my old faithful 7-Up cup. 7-Eleven cup. I got Diet Mountain Dew in it. That's my drink of choice. Anyhow, um, back to the bands. Bands just don't make money. And it's hard to get big. So, if you want to see some of my son's um, music, go to truckyriverband.com and it should link you to um, YouTube and their page on Facebook. Go say hi to them. Give them a shout out. Make them feel like they have some friends out here. Anyway, it's Truckee River Band. Just Google it and stuff should come up. Damn, I'm still hungry and this is the last bit of my food on my plate. That sucks. I have more food in the fridge, but, you know, portion control. Trying to be on a diet. I'm probably going to come back for another mukbang later. I haven't decided what I'm going to cook for supper. I'm in the mood... <clears throat> I'm in the mood for a hamburger, though, because everybody on the mukbang has been eating hamburgers. And I love hamburgers. Damn, I'm almost ready to lick the plate. I'm still hungry. That's ridiculous. Gotta get every little crumb here. Ta-da! I'm a super eater. I've been eating all my life. <laughs> but anyway, um, these aren't mine. These are my daughter's. Have you, anybody ever tried these? They're, whoops, they're Funyuns, but they're flaming Hot Funyuns. They're really good. If they weren't... If they were mine, I would get into one and have one, but they're not mine. So, anyway, um, <sighs> what next? I don't want to do housework. I'm, I'm kind of like under the weather. I hurt everywhere today. You guys got to say hi to my doggies. Hi, Tippy. I love Tippy. And the Goo Goo. Dad Goo Goo. Oh, Googie stole the cat toy. Shame on him. Anyway. Okay, so I'm done with my bomb. I will see you the next one, gangster. And high fives. And you guys take care.